Dick Beauvais is with us, bank analyst with Rafferty Capital. He's come back to us. Dick, last time you were on the program, you said, for, for, you consistently said, buy bank stocks, they're going up. And you were right. But then, late on Friday, even before this bill was pulled from Congress, you said, stop buying bank stocks and start selling a few. Am I accurate with that? Yeah, I actually did it about two weeks ago. Okay. But yes, I, I made the decision that you're going to lose money in bank stocks if you hold them through the summer. Why? Well, there are three core reasons. Number one, uh, I'm having difficulty believing that the uh, tax cut is going to be passed before 2018. Two, there's no likelihood of major deregulation coming in the banking industry. And three, business is lousy. <laughs> the bank oh, you know, making we, loans. We, and we and uh, hi higher interest rates are certainly not helping them at all. Well, would you suggest to our viewers, many of whom have, I think, followed your advice and have bought financials, XLF, they've bought bank stocks and brokers, would you tell them now, just, why don't you just sell it now? Is that your point of view? Yeah, I think, well, if they expect to make money uh, over the next six months in bank stocks, uh, they're not going to do it. And therefore, they have to make the decision if they want to hold through that period in the hopes that in 2018, which I expect will be better, uh, things will then get better for bank stocks. But I just don't see how you're going to make money in bank stocks over the next six months. Has this got anything to do with the withdrawal of the bill on Friday and the debacle from the president and the Republicans of failing to overturn Obamacare? Anything to do with that? Not, not really. In other words, w when I've taken a look at the debt of the United States, the major question that I have is who's going to buy it? In other words, there are four classes of buyers. There's the foreigners who own 31% of it. They're now net sellers. There's Americans who own 28% of it, and they seem to be edging away given what's showing up in interest rates. There is uh, the Social Security Fund, which has always been a, a source of funding for the debt. The Social Security Fund is going to need money this year. They're not going to fund the debt. And then there's the Federal Reserve. And the Federal Reserve, which owns 14% of it, the Federal Reserve has been borrowing money from the Treasury. They're lending money to the Treasury, and then they're borrowing it back. So the question is, okay, we, cut, we have a tax cut. We do things that are going to make the system better. But who's going to buy the deficit? I don't get it. Uh, that's one problem. And the other problem, of course, is everything coming out of Washington this, to this point clearly indicates that there is no desire to deregulate the big banks. What we want to do is help the little banks and get rid of annoyances like the Volcaru, yeah. but in terms of actually deregulating the banks so that they can provide more money to the private sector, no one is thinking about doing that. And then, of course, you know, you, you've got to have better business. Um, do you extend your sell idea to the rest of the market outside the financial sector? Well, my, my gut feel would say yes, but I, I'm, I'm not a market timer, so I don't, I don't know that I uh, w would have any good advice there. Well, look, Dick, thanks very much for coming back on board this morning with some interesting analysis. We appreciate it, and we'll see you again real soon, Dick. Thank you, sir. Thank you.